What is up, YouTube? I'm Gavordi here. We have Lundrides tournament report from Mono Bluetron's tournament, actually. He ended up coming through and taking MBT's tournament over this past weekend. Lun didn't actually fill me in on this until it was, uh, he was already in top four and top eight, and I was like, you go, girl! You get him! So, Lun sent me this. I know it's Adam Emancipator, but I do want to show this because it does encompass how the format is kind of shaping up here. And some of the decision trees that you're going to have to make to combat the format. He was the lone at Emancipator in top E. There were four Synchro Elblich, all right? The, ver the general consensus that the community's kind of come to at this point, Synchro Elblich, it's the best deck right now, all right? As of this week on May 12th, the best deck this week is Synchro Elblich. I know we, uh, we bounce around a lot with these things, but... The general consensus here is uh, VFD, you know, the ki true king of all calamities, is a problem, all right? Players do have issues running into these things, and that's uh, that's a pretty big issue right now for today's tournament. So we're going to go through Lund's tournament report. We're going to talk about Lund's deck and how he was the lone out Emancipator. I'm not saying that this was like a big tournament or anything, but this man did smash through and if you go through and if you saw the VOD and things from MBT, Mono Bluetron, you know, you might have seen that uh, winning dice rolls is pretty critical. And a few people have already called this a dice roll format. So it was definitely an interesting take on things here. So let's talk about Lundrides deck and his tournament report. And uh, the uh, Gizmic Inari interaction down here with cute little things like that. So we have triple copies of Analyzer, free special summon, free excavate. You guys know what this does. Triple copies of, if you control your uh, rock, you beam on out. This is a gorgeous beauty. And she'll get your rocks off for you, off the top of your deck, so that you can combo extend. It's pretty good. And then we have triple copies of the normal guy. Thinks he's the main character in this rocky world. But it's not going to happen. Alright? Then we have triple copies of Block Dragon. Which... It's probably the best card in your deck. Then we have one copy of Panker Tops. This was kind of interesting. Um, this kind of allows you to go second against certain situations. Not bad. Then we have two copies of the Dodo Dodo Dwarf. Go, 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 go off. So during a main phase, you can splash someone Zuba Ba Gargaga from your hand. If you control a Go, 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 or Dodo Dodo, except for Dodo Dodo, go, 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 while this card is in your graveyard, you can splash someone this card, but banish it when it leaves the field. Sure, uh, TLDR on that. Doki Doki, general searching and filtering. And then we have this. Um, from what I've seen in the format, we've been a little bit back and forth on this at certain points. Some people like it, some people don't like it. Um, generally at this point we're using the Buster Sword to literally slow down the opponent. Um, it's just kind of like a little bit of sprinkle on top of the cake. You're using this to stunt their general advancement. I mean, I'm not complaining. It looks like it works out about 95% of the time when it actually comes up in application. We have one copy of Gigantes. Almost any more of this anymore. It, it's too... You, you search... Okay. You either search it or you open it. Like, that's the road of this card. There is no in-between with this. Then we have two copies of Gigas. When this card is in your graveyard, if you special summon a Goo Goo Monster, except during damage type, you special summon this card from your graveyard and face up defense position. Now, interesting enough, we're uh, Triple Guardian back here yet again. Guardian being that just plain monster negator that allows you to pressure the opponent. And the good thing is it's optional. You know, got to give it back to Rockstun here, having some of the best cards. And we have triple copies of Pooting Susior, level 4 special summoner. It's everything that we want. And we have one copy of the Olion. And then, ooh, ooh, what is this? Triple copies of Adahara. By the way. Level 1 Tuner. Very important for the combo. Spells, we have triple copies of Sign. E Monster Reborn, not once per turn. Triple copies of Dark Ruler, no more. A guy to stun the advancement on the opponent's turn. One, or on our turn. One copy of Monster Reborn, and one cop, yeah, one foolish one Monster Reborn. They're the same card. Alright, down here in the extra deck. We have one copy of Union Carrier. This card, uh, <laughs> Buster Sword on my Borlode Savage Dragon. What you gonna do? 
One copy of Linkaross. Honestly, Linkaross made this deck way better than it needed to be. Now with extending capabilities 300% more. One copy of Link Spider. Hmm. So we're turning our token that we get from Nibiru into the ability to play the game now. All right. We have one copy of Unicorn, one Phoenix, one IP Mascarena, one Needle Fiber, one Borload set or Borload OTK Dragon Machine. One Appaloosa, one Gallant Granite, and one copy of the Abyss Dweller. Len was talking about that this card against Eldritch, you make this, you just win. Like, literally, you do full combo, end on this. Eldritch looks at you and goes, that's game. <laughs> Nothing I can do. Martial Metal Marcher for the Extender. One copy of Borlode Savage Dragon. One Repite. And one Dragite. Now, here in the side deck. All right. So, a few of you have probably seen this before, but we have the one Barrier Statue of Torrent. And we have triple copies of the Ismet, or Gizmek and Nari Fox. So each time your opponent normal or special summons a monster, ping them for 300. You can only use each of the effects of Gizmek, Uka, the festive fox, of Acrunity once per turn. So if a monster is special summoned from the main deck, except during damage step, you can special summon this card from hand. If this card is normal or special summoned, you can target one face of monster opponent controls. Special summon one monster from your hand or deck whose attack is equal to its own defense seem attributes that opponent's monster. Hmm. Needle fiber. Okay. Barrier statue of water. So we literally just your opponent makes the needle fiber, you know, gives maximum the water barrier statue. Congratulations. You've stunned the advancement of your entire opponent's turn. In a format where things are a little bit more contained and you kind of see where the troublesome cards are. Picking the appropriate barrier statue to stunt the opponent, um, especially in a play like this, is very interesting, and I could see this being a future good application in the future here, possibly for this just being a barrier statue summoner. We have triple copies of Nibiru, then we have one copy of Uria the Water Charmer of Gentle. Hey look, we can link out our water barrier statue if we hard draw it. It's probably one of the coolest things. Then we have triple copies of Lightning Storm, triple evenly matched. No one copy of Red Reboot here. So, notes here in his tournament bracket. Okay, so, round one, he lost game one to Rockets, uh, Eldritch Rocket. So he won 2 1. Eldritch Aurorodon, he won 2 1, which is the synchro variant. 2 0 round three, which was Eldritch Aurorodon. Round four, Eldritch Aurorodon, 1 2 0. Round five, he beat Adam Emancipator. And then round six, he ended up losing 2 0 to Eldritch Aurorodon. Hmm, it's almost like Synchro Eldritch is a good deck. Top 8, Eldritch Aurodon. It won 2-0. Oh. <laughs> Top 4, Eldritch Aurodon. 1-2-1. One, one. Finals, he beat Eldritch Aurodon. 2-1. Huh, anybody, uh, anybody see the general consensus in these matchups here? It's almost like Eldritch Aurodon is the best deck. Yay, Synchros. All right, so notes here on the side deck. Side deck is just a bunch of random cards. Didn't put thought... All right, didn't you put thought into it? Uh, we'll consider siding Gamma, Token Collector, or Ghost Reaper. I haven't tested any, though. Yeah, this is probably... This side engine for the generic, for what people are generally expecting, and then just good stuff. Makes sense. For the main deck, it might be better to main deck Nibiru over Dark Ruler, since there is so much Eldritch, and Dark Ruler is bad versus combo Eldritch, when they make VFD or go for Savage, plus the draw 3 to 4. Uh, most of my losses were to the Calamity. Yeah, Calamity literally tore him apart. I kind of wanted to run more extenders in the main deck, but didn't want to cut anything. Also, Herod of the Arc Light is really good in the extra deck, but didn't want to cut Boral Sword or Nightmare Phoenix like other people are doing. Uh, it might be worth it to cut Adam and Adam Anspater's sign too, but I'm not sure. The card is a lot more bricky when you don't run the Anamano spells and discard spells. I can actually agree with that. Basically, what Lund has done is we're we're still playing the generic rock engine here, but because you're not playing the whole pickup engine and things like that, you've slimmed down the package kind of just the more bare minimum out of this. So honestly, out of nine rounds, he went 8-1, you know, 5-1 in Swiss, and then going undefeated through top cut, you know, winning the tournament. Not too bad. Good, sir. Not bad at all. So guys, what do you think about Lundrides? First place model Blue Tron Tournament report, please!
Check out MBT down below, as always. Love you good, sir. And, well, I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. And, well, guys, I'm out. Thank you, patrons, for making the ride never truly end. Without you guys' support, well, I would probably be doing Truffle Shuffle videos for a living. Guys, please check out Vancall 40 for all of your Card Fight Vanguard content brought to you by Mcall 40 And... If you are looking to pick up singles, check out mcolgames.com for your trading card game needs. Thanks for watching, everybody.